Hi everybody, it's Dr. Rose Kumar from the Omani Center in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. I just wanted to give you a little update on COVID-19 and some of the facts that we've learned about this virus so that you can um, begin to make the changes that you need to make in order to fortify your body and your immune system uh, in, with some simple steps. Nobody really is talking about the importance of lifestyle to uh, prevent this virus. So I'm going to give you some pointers based on the mechanism of how this virus works that I think will really, really assist in prevention as well as recovery from this virus. What we do know is that the virus docks on a receptor called an ACE2 receptor, ACE number two receptor. These receptors are present in the lung and the small intestine. When the virus enters the nasal passages, it uh, enters the cool and dry bronchioles, the, bron the uh, uh, passages in our lung to, to dock on these ACE receptors that are present in the lower lungs. Under uh, conditions of acidity, this virus um, merges, takes over our DNA so that it can replicate itself. So if the environment in our body is alkaline, it makes it extremely difficult for the virus to replicate. If it's acidic, then the virus will replicate. So it's important to um, uh, alkalinize your body with your diet, a whole food plant-based diet will certainly um, alkalinize your system, increase your pH and make it unfavorable for this virus. The other piece to the puzzle is because since this ACE2 receptor is in your intestines, you really want to add uh, um, these plants as well as a broad spectrum probiotic that has five lactobacillus and five bifidum uh, to your everyday routine. So the lactobacillus populate the small intestine where that ACE2 uh, receptor is, bifidum populates your colon. And you need a healthy small intestine and a healthy colon to have a healthy body. Both the, the colon, the small intestine, and the liver are important to have a healthy immune system. So in order for you to be able to recover fast and to have a strong immunity, you really need to have those two organs um, in good shape. So what does the microbiome do? Well, the microbiome is your factory for producing neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are those chemicals in the body that run your nervous system. Right now, I guarantee all of our nervous systems are under stress. So we need as much serotonin, we need as much um, support for our nervous system and our impulses uh, as possible. And the way to do that is to take that probiotic and to eat a really healthy plant-based diet. Now the liver is a highly regenerative organ. So those of you that have uh, fatty liver, it's important for you to know that you can do things to really reboot that liver. Um, the diet is key, exercise is key, and um, um, the greens that you eat are really, really essential for your liver to be vibrant and be able to assist your immune system. So what does the liver do? It presents the virus to the immune system and it basically says, here, kill this. So if your liver is not doing its job, if you're drinking as a stress reducer, uh, you will be more vulnerable to having an immune system that is not very fortified. So really the, the take home is we wanna fortify our immune system. Couple other things that you can do, take zinc, 20 milligrams of zinc every day, uh, keeps the viruses away, it reduces viral replication. If you are not sick, take it every other day. If you are sick, take it every day. It is a heavy metal, we don't want too much of this. Uh, vitamin D, another uh, piece to this puzzle that um, is emerging now is to get a healthy dose of vitamin D, but 
The caveat is vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin. You do not want to take too much of this because it is not going to be good for your liver as it is fat soluble. So you want to speak to your primary care physician first before you decide to take vitamin D. So whatever you do, do not do not take this in mega doses because um, your body will not be able to um, function with that much D in it. Um, more is not better when it comes to vitamin D. Another piece to this puzzle is uh, steam. You can take steam by making a steam tent. You can look this up online and uh, figure out how to do this to moisten and to heat up your bronchioles and your lung passages so that uh, the virus is uh, inhibited. We now know that moist heat is not good. Um, it's not a good environment for this virus. It does not favor that. It likes a cool, dry um, environment. So sleep with a humidifier at night. It'll moisturize your passages. Use a steam tent after you've been out and about and have been have exposed yourself to the public. Uh, it's a really good way to prevent um, the replication of this virus. Um, another piece to this puzzle is a B complex. Because people are under stress right now, this may be a good idea to add to your daily regimen and you want to be taking a B-complex that is methylated. So if you look on the ingredients, it should say methyl B, and that methyl B is going to do much to keep your nervous system supported as well as your cardiovascular system. And last but not least is vitamin C, the age-old inexpensive vitamin that has been our best friend during a common cold, uh, during um, any kind of flu or upper respiratory infection. Uh, 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C uh, would be really helpful to your body so that it can maximize its ability to fight and um, support. So just remember, your body is a responder. It will respond to what you do for it. If you treat it well, if you do these self-nourishing tips, it will respond in a really uh, supportive way. And it takes about seven days for your biochemistry to change and alter or improve. So within seven days, we can actually make a big difference in um, uh, our ability to fight this. It would be really nice for our country to be an example for the world as to how we can do this through lifestyle changes, through these simple ways of supporting and fortifying our body. So why not start now and uh, restore our health? So until next time, I wish you well, and I hope that you can really begin to do some of these self-nourishment uh, pieces. Um, if you have been procrastinating, now is the time. It will really, really help your body overall. So be well and stay healthy. And just remember, prevention is better than cure.